Welcome to a day at the beach with the Muncies. We decided to take off to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and just like everything else with COVID-19, this trip did not start off so strongly. We broke down on the side of the interstate for six hours, only 10 miles from the house. But we left the next day, we made it to the beach. watch the sunrise. I'm also having some serious fogging issues. It's extremely humid, so my camera keeps fogging up. I apologize. without the sun. The clouds are covering up the sun. And it's only 6.18 in the morning. Here's our beautiful, graceful swan. And the sun is actually up. So pretty. The sunrise on a bike ride. I might try and run to this donut shop across from the campground, but it's across a four lane highway. The traffic shouldn't be bad because it's like 6.30 in the morning. Bring some donuts for the fam and the basket on my bike. <laughs> you guys, look at the beautiful sun. Walmart neighborhood market. <laughs> Just cruising on my bike early in the morning. Donuts, we're here. Fits perfectly. All right, back to the campground we go. Good morning, Dusty. Yes. Yes. Be a good boy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Breakfast time. He's a lap dog. We gotta bring the bike to the bike shop. Broke down on day one of AK. Bicycles. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All fixed up. That was so quick. Now we're gonna go to the water park. Little Ellie Mae had fun yesterday. She was scared at first, but then we taught her it's a fun time. Those are your sunglasses, girly. That's yeah. Not how they work. It's a hard concept. You ready? All right, we're clearing the back. Go to the front. <laughs> <laughs> no one will get that because no one goes to Dollywood. Goodbye, camper. Crazy dogs. You're Miss Ellie Mae. Bye. <laughs> Sandy Harbor. In the hang of it. Yeah, baby. 
That's you do. Put boobies in. Yeah, I got This is not censored material. Look how big it is. That thing is bulletproof. It's, it's a pretty like auburn red. Oh my god, and it does have wings. It has wings. No, <laughs> don't let him get to the sippy cup. Oh. He zoned it. It's his. It's like your hand. No, no, it's not my phone. A rare stage straight out of his whole You ready? <laughs> Mohawk girl. Ellison! Push it again. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. You're On the way here. to the beach. We have a creepy lady following us. Oh gosh, she made the same turn. <laughs> oh, there's a little one behind her. extension of your golf cart. Goodbye, Sandy Mart. There's the meat meat. That's where we got breakfast. Salty sluts. I'm gonna ride my electric scooter. Lyric's gonna drive the golf cart to keep up with me. watching all the other people. Very fascinating. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like rain on water. Time to get back on my ride. All right, Ellie, you ready? All right, guys, I'm cruising. I'm following Lyric and I got us lost. So she's leading us now. <laughs> this campground is so massive. There's like thousands of sites and there's homes. So we're now in like the condo slash beach homes private property. All right, guys, we finally made it back after like 20 minutes of being completely lost in this humongous campground. We're staying at Ocean Lakes at Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. And the last little bit of sunlight that I have left, which it doesn't look that dark, it is definitely getting dark pretty quick. I believe it's 8.30, so I may read some of the book that I'm reading and blow up my little couch thing, my air lounge. <laughs> filling this thing up but it's so comfortable and so lightweight and it packs up so small I love it so much oh, I guess I could link this air lounger below in the description box I got it off Amazon it's from the brand Wicapo I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right but it has these pockets on the side so you can put like a book an iPad phone that has the camera on and it has another pocket on the other side that is attached whereas this one swings I have literally blown this thing up probably 10 times now and I love it so much. It's so comfortable. Perfect to just pack when you go on a hike or you're outdoors, or you're out to the pool, you're in your front yard, you're camping. Sorry if that clip is really noisy. We are on the main drag of the campground, so people stay driving by. Also, this air lounger comes with a stake so you can stick it to the ground because it is full of air and it will blow away. So I usually stick it in the ground if I leave it blown up when I'm not in it. So right now I'm reading the book, White Fragility. It is one of the number one bestsellers right now after the whole George Floyd case and the current Black Lives Matter movement. So I really wanna educate myself and just gain a new perspective, really. I also already read this book, so you want to talk about race, and it was really good. I've thought about maybe doing a little book review video on my channel about the different books that I wanna read about race, but 
it really has nothing to relate with on my channel. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys would want to hear that or not. But currently, So You Want to Talk About Race is a really good like narrative style perspective book. Whereas White Fragility, which is the number one bestseller right now, more of kind of like a research paper. It's very fact-based, so it's very informational. Whereas, so you want to talk about race gives you more of a perspective of a real person. Anyways, both really good books. I'm almost halfway through White Fragility, and I read So You Want to Talk About Race in literally only two days. It was really good. So that's what I'm reading out here while the mosquitoes eat every single skin cell on my body. <laughs> you know, all of these random people drive by with blaring their random music. So apparently I forgot to film an outro or any kind of goodbye after this video. This is kind of awkward typing this off. Do you guys want to see my face? Okay. Hey, I'm editing. Forgot to end this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I did make it safely back to my apartment here. By myself. Still working from home. By myself. So yeah, it was a wonderful week with my fam bam, getting to socialize with other humans. You would have no idea there's a pandemic going on there at Myrtle Beach. Let me just tell you. We were part of the problem because we were there. But let me just tell you, I brought my mask but ain't nobody else wearing one so I was like so anyways thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys next time goodbye